Hey guys, I'm Troy, and welcome back to a new Dragon Ball Fusions video. If you didn't see the last video, I uh, fought Goku Black, and that's really it. I fought Goku Black in the new raid quest, so I found out their raid quests, or boss raids, I think that's what they're called. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to be fighting Blue Vegito. Now, I've already done this, but my, my first recording... Uh, come on, every time I start recording, my game starts lagging. But anyway, when I did the first recording, I did fight... I've already fought Blue Vegito... And the first time I fought him, well, my recording, the audio, didn't, it didn't, didn't record any audio at all, which is a little annoying, but, I mean, what, 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 what can you do? I mean, at least I know what to do now, I guess. <laughs> so, the way all these Zen Q Han quests work is they're basically raid missions. So, the things that, yeah, I'll start this, uh, the things that you can... I guess you can do them over and over again to earn more XP, because you get a lot of XP from the end of them. So, they're not really story missions, but they do enhance the story a little bit. Not much, but they do enhance the story, nonetheless. Not the, the actual game story, I mean, like, a little bit of more information, or more story, I should say. But really, there he is. Shall we begin? Yep. So, if you have the game and you've updated it, if you do this quest, you'll actually see there's a bit of storyline to it. So, it's like, uh, our team needs to train to get strong enough to beat Goku Black and Zamasu. Uh, and, well, instead of getting Vegito Blue to take them down, uh, Vegito yells at Trunks, future Trunks, and says, hey, why can't you do it yourself? And he's just like, well, I'm not strong enough. He's like, fine, I'll train you. So, then you have to fight against Vegito Blue, which is obviously what this battle is. Now, this battle isn't on, you have to do a certain amount of KOs to win. You can do no KOs throughout this whole fight. As long as you survive at the end, as long as you're alive at the end of the fight, then you win. So it's it's really not the hardest thing to do in the game, but it's definitely a little bit of a challenge, I should say. Alright, so we got Goku Black on our team. I forgot to say this before, but we got Goku Black on our team for one reason. That is so we can level him up to level 60, so we can fuse him with Broly, because I really want to fuse him with Broly, and I don't want to spend another uh, another three hours trying to level 1, level 20, up to level 60, and of course he yeah, has Acrobat, I forgot completely about that. Ah, damn it. Okay. So some of these characters are actually really strong, and I know that you can't do anything if you take them down, nothing really happens, so... Uh, I'm just thinking what's the best thing. I'm not going to try and actually take them down, I'm... Just going to try and push them back so I can keep attacking as much as I can. Uh, also, cool thing, I got a new move on my Vegeta, uh, which is Godlike Big Bang Attack. And uh, that is really cool. I really want to see it. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to keep Vegeta's key charging and really just hit everyone else with key attacks. And I'm pretty sure the Goku will be able to make us all hit these two over here. Still, I am so happy that this DLC is now out. And I'm also really happy that in three days uh, from this video going up, I think... Uh, you guys in Australia and stuff like that, which is where I am, obviously, are getting this game. It's finally coming out for you guys, which I am excited to hear. So, basically, I am planning to do... I, I said this in the last video, but I'm planning to do some tutorials on how to level up quicker and stuff like that, just so you guys can get to this stuff. Because I'm hearing a lot of people sometimes... Uh, like people are complaining about how to get some of these really good characters. I have noticed some people don't quite understand the DLC. Like, they've been getting confused on how to actually unlock everything. I'm like, well, it's not that hard. You just turn the game on. You get all this new DLC. But people haven't realized that you have to update. And the update sometimes doesn't load. And 3DS updating is a pain in the ass. I will admit that. And some people just didn't understand how to actually update. And how I had to update is I had to actually launch the game connect the multiplayer, didn't do anything because I realized it was local, quit out, went to the eShop, went out, went, I just started going around my whole 3DS everywhere I could look, and it took a long time to actually find the stupid update. Like, it usually it pops up at the bottom of the app before you launch it. It says, a software update is ready, blah, 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 blah. Mine popped up, but when I launched the game, nothing happened. It popped up once, and it said I could download. I clicked download, and it's just like, you can't download this right now. I'm like, why the heck not? And then I tried it one more time, and it finally worked. I don't know if that's happened to anyone else, but if it has happened to you, let me know But in the comment section below, obviously. But yeah, this fight's pretty easy, to be honest. I mean, it is just surviving for... Was it 5,000? Not 5,000, 500 seconds? I mean, it's still a lot of time, yeah, but, like, nothing near 
amount of a hard fight. Like this, I mean, these guys are strong, yes, but they're only going after my Goku Black right now, who they haven't even killed, and he had the least amount of health. And oh, watch, they're just going to bombard him with this attack right now. Going to do nothing. Like, it's going to kill him, yes. But it, they're not going after my most powerful team, who is almost all in a group. I've got four, no, three of them down on the bottom left, and now, no, they're going to heal. All right, whatever they want to do. I'm hoping they don't move that much. Yes, I was hoping they didn't move too much, so then I could do... Uh, what to do? Could hit them with this. It's going to hit them all. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not like it's going to kill my team. We'll also bring Goku Black back. I wonder if he's going to get blue hair. No. Oh, that would have been really cool if, like, you did the uh, maxi fusion and then you got blue hair because you got the main uh, fusion character to be have the blue hair. Woo! All right, so easily, easy. Let's find... There they are. All right, so if you don't know how maxi fusions work, sometimes the character... Like, you're going after one main character, but then there's all the other characters that just fall into the maxi fusion, which you can just go after, which is what I do. It does the most damage to the team, and then there's also... You just do the damage to the main character you're trying to chase. So I'm thinking this will kill all of them other than Vegito Blue. Oh, it almost got him, though. It almost got Vegito Blue. Oh, why didn't it kill the Krillin? Huh. I expected the Krillin to be taken down with that. Okay, no problem. We, we took a lot of them out, but as you can see, they all get brought back, so there's no winning. It's really just who can score the most points. Jeez. I wonder why they're not going after Goku Black now. He's back. He's back. So I wonder why they're not going after him. Oh, and there's the attack I knew they were going to do. Well, let's fight back. Easy as that. I mean, it's going to use all of Vegito's... Not Vegito's. Vegeta's move. Oh. Oh, that looked cool. I haven't seen that yet. That looked awesome. Come on. Yeah, easy. Boom, Vegito's down. And he comes back. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, earlier today, I decided to go and watch the later, uh, not latest, the episode where Vegito Blue shows up and he fights Merge as a master, like the half purple guy version, and I forgot how good the animation actually was for that fight. I I keep forgetting how good the Goku Black Saga was. Now, some people don't like it. I understand that. Evil Goku. Some people don't like Evil Goku. But I loved the Goku Black Saga. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it brought back Trunks. It brought back Vegito. It, just showed me things that I actually was looking forward to for such a long time in Dragon Ball Super and stuff I really wanted to see, like Vegito Blue, obviously. Or I wanted to see Gogeta come up, but nonetheless, I got the, the one thing I really wanted, which was fusions, but showing the new form. So like Super Saiyan 3 versions, but obviously because we got Super Saiyan Blue to show up, well, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Super Saiyan Blue uh, Gogeta, which I would have loved. But obviously, I was happy because we still got one of the fusions, so we did achieve our goal. And then there was the my favorite thing, and the one reason Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose is my favorite character, or just Goku Black in general, is because of the abilities he has. For example, he's the sword, his hand sword, that is awesome. The scythe, when he did that, I, I thought that was amazing. I thought that was one of the coolest things I've seen in Dragon Ball Super. Loved it. I don't know why, it just looked amazing. Did that miss every single one of them? If so, that is extremely sad. <laughs> Just you hit three people. Uh, people, yeah. People, I said, but people. With uh, the solar flare. And then, it, what's it do? Miss every single one of them. Did they all shut their eyes or something? Oh no, it hit Vegeta. Okay, well, at least Yamcha and Tien could feel a little happy that they hit someone with that move. Oh, also, if you guys couldn't tell, that all these people that I'm fighting are fusion characters. Like, this is Gohan and Krillin. Uh, that was Tiamcha, which is Tien and Yamcha. Then there's Aurelia and someone else, and I think Piccolo and someone else, if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, does Goku have... No, Goku doesn't have any good move. Alright, I wonder if I can hit them all with... Uh, yes, I can. Alright, let's just do this. Oh, I can't hit them all. Come on. Alright, let's go after Vegito, because he's about to attack. Just realize that. This will do a little bit of damage. Oh, no, knocked him out. There we go. He's not attacking. <laughs> All right. Also, I'm still getting questions on where my character's hair is from. It's from the 
Who's the tech? This is coming on me hard. Damn, it's not going to do any, anything to Tiamcha. Tiamcha, I think it's called. Uh, but yeah, my hair. I got it from Samsi from World 6. Or the Heaven Place. I think that it's that's World 6. Heaven and Hell Place. Uh, or the Other World or Afterworld. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called the Other World. Uh, but that's where I found it. She's a red orb icon. So the red icon, you just fly up to it and you'll see she's a Saiyan called Samsi. She has the Super Saiyan ability after. You can encounter her... Uh, before you finish the game, but if you encounter her after you finish the game, she has a Super Saiyan ability. So, yeah. Also, I noticed a few of you guys were saying you had actually liked to fight uh, in this game, obviously, uh, with online multiplayer. And awesome, that's awesome to hear. I Oh, who to attack? I haven't done this move yet. Oh, jeez. There we go. Uh, also, this is actually a move you guys were telling me about. You can use something called Limit Breaker, and that will be like a Zenkai attack. So you can use it on people that have stars, and apparently you unlock them. And from what you can tell, it is a Zenkai attack. I was one key short from that. The only problem is it uses up all your key. So then when you actually... Oh! Do you actually go after everyone in the circle? Wow, that is extremely useful. You can use that on a whole group of star people. That's why it's so useful. Okay. That is helpful. Alright, let's hit him with the Beast Roar. We might be able to take him down. And we've only got 15 seconds left in this fight, come on! Damn it, I wanted to get a few more KOs in. Oh well, doesn't matter. We took out Tiancha, that's all that matters. <laughs> boom, boom, and boom. And let's see if we... Are we going to continue and go after the other person again? Because I hit three people in the... Yeah, I am. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's build up. Damn it. No, I can't remember his name. Is it Kril Krillan? Krillhan? Or Gorillan? Gorillan? <laughs> Is that his name? Gorillan? No, that's Goku and Krillan. Huh, I don't know. Bang. Knocked him back. Boom. All right, there we go. Easy challenge complete. And we get a nice amount of XP to level up our Goku Black. Oh, and of course, points. Which are the things that get added. And look how much XP you get from that. You can just grind out these missions. And you level up so much. Already at level 42. Level 42 from 35. That is an insane level up. And of course you also get the chance of getting uh, the, the DLC characters move from that fight. I'm pretty sure you can also get the move from the move machine and just random fight. And yes, I'll skip this dialogue because I already know how it goes. But you guys can check that out for yourself if you do the quest. Which, if you don't know where it is, it's over at this machine. I'll just quickly let it save. There we go. Alright, back out. It's over at this machine, the communications facility. Open it, go into ZQ Han Quest, and it will just load. And because I'm not connected to the internet right now, you will have these things. And I'm pretty sure... And let, Actually, is my 3DS connected? I think it is connected to the internet. But anyway, you will have all these quests. You'll just launch one, and I'm pretty sure it shows a leaderboard sometimes. Mine's, it's done that to me once. I, I don't think it actually has. Yeah, anyway, I don't know what you guys said, but that's what I see, so that's I'm guessing what you guys see as well. Just launch it, loading, display the quest, pick what one you want to do, and boom, you're in it. Uh, anyway, guys, tomorrow I'm going to be attempting the Mortals of Gods, or Mortals and Gods, sorry. But I will also be releasing... Uh, not releasing, I'll be uploading a video that has, I think it's Nova Shinron, is that his name? No, Omega Shinron from GT is coming out in Global, so I want to do a few summons, seeing if I can get Omega Shinron, and see how well I do at that. I mean, if I do well, then I'm going to be extremely happy, if I don't, well, don't really mind. He's only, he's not really a character I really need, or really want I, I would like to get him but i don't really need him but anyway guys that's it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me then why not click that subscribe button because then you see all my videos that i upload i upload daily now so it's not going to hurt you what's the harm but anyway guys i'm troy i hope you did enjoy and i will see you in the next video see you guys